don't know about Buck Fury, I'll tell you a bit about Buck Fury. Everybody thinks I'm some sort of superhero. Which camera am I looking at? Hang on. Hey, that one? Everybody thinks I'm, this one here? Everybody thinks I'm some kind of superhero. Well, let me tell you something. I ain't no superhero. I'm just a man. I'm just a normal everyday man, and I can be beaten, and today I'm going to tell you a story about the first time I was beaten at my own game, the first time I had to question myself. It was a day like any other. It was very much like those adverts you see on the TV for films with the big explosions and all the beautiful women. But this was more like a low budget feature film. There was no explosions. It's all shitty sound and crappy little cameras like these ones you've got here. <laughs> Instead of explosions, they used little shitty fireworks in the back. Beautiful women were gone too. That I could always hold against them. So I was driving my car. I'd been driving for days. I stopped at the first town I came to and I got out of the car. Had a look around. It was your typical little town, just like every other one. You'd seen them all before. But then I turned around and my car was gone. Stolen, I suspected. But I thought, what the hell, I could use the walk. But after a little while, I found the guys that did it. I didn't see my car. I had no proof. But just from the look in their eyes, I could tell these were the kids that stole my car. Although I say the look in their eyes, I couldn't actually see their eyes. All I could see were the hoods pulled over their faces. But I knew it was them. And they knew that I was coming for them. <laughs> they sent the fat one in first. He was easy pickings. <laughs> then they sent the two skinny ones in. First one didn't even have to touch him. Second one, however, now my mama always taught me, never hit my own glasses. But I found a way around that. But they weren't the ones I was interested in. I was interested in the king. I was interested in the big guy sitting up there waiting. The guy throwing out all the instructions. And then it was his turn. He came right at me. He had a bottle in his hand. I don't know what it was. But I think it gave him some sort of superhuman strength. He stood and faced me eye to eye. And then he tried to hit me, but it was okay because I was too quick. I just got my hand up. I grabbed that bottle, ripped it out of his hand, and threw it halfway across the world. Then we started to circle each other. We went round, we went round. We were given left, right, left, right. Pow, pow, pow! <laughs> Some of my jinjitsu, kung pu. But then he came up, he caught me with a left. I don't know where it came from. Couple of rights, one, two, three, and a big left hook. And I tell you, the power behind that left hook. I'd never felt anything like it before, and I went down. I went down so hard. And it left me unconscious. I woke up the next day. 
They'd taken my car. They'd taken my wallet. They even took my shoes. Luckily, I got another pair. At least they left my hat and my trusty cigar. <laughs> I'll always remember the last thing he said to me before I passed out. Get her, Buck.